What up, peeps? This your boy Glass. You're now watching Smoke Sweat Channel. Thank you for watching. It is a Tuesday afternoon, 2 o'clock. And since it's Tuesday, it is Cobb Tuesday. So I'm smoking my modified Country Gentleman. And in it, I'm smoking McBaron's Plum Cake. Good stuff. A certain individual that calls himself, well, act like he's grumpy, doesn't like Cobb Tuesdays. I guess he doesn't like cobs, corn cobs. Uh, Commerging Piper, our buddy Doug. Man, stop playing. Don't act like you grumpy, man. I know you're a big old teddy bear, so I don't know who you think you're fooling. But since I'm talking about you, Doug, I seen your video that you made Monday, I think it was. What was it? Why do you accentuate the negative? I think it was. Good video. I got one question. And I don't know if I'm the only one that's seen this. Could be. But at the beginning of the video, when you was given your elbow shot, I noticed... <laughs> You had two watches on, man. Look like you had an Apple Watch, and it could be a. Could look like I had a look like a watch I have a G Shock. I think it's Timex G Shock watch, but you had two watches. You ain't gotta explain. I'm just saying. Moving on, I have new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Hopefully I entertain you. And the, I got three of them. My three subscribers are John DeSanto. Thank you for, for the sub. Arkansas Mike. Thanks for the sub. Last but not least, Recovering Know-It-All. Thanks for the sub. Really appreciate it. Speaking of somebody you need to subscribe to, if you are a new pipe smoker, beginning pipe smoker, I advise you to sub Je uh, Jeffrey Alton Carter, the Renaissance, Renaissance Piper. If you want to know everything that you need to know about pipe tobacco, the blends, the characteristics, all that stuff, sub that channel and watch it. I think, it, I think it's pipe one-on-one. -on -one. I think that's what it is, tobacco one-on-one. -on -one. It's long. I think it's about an hour at most. But what I do, I put it on when it comes out. I, it's a 45-minute drive to my, to my job. So, Plug it in the radio, hit play. Don't watch it. <laughs> I don't watch it drive. I just listen to it. I'm the type of person that listen to podcasts while I'm driving or I'm at work. I don't have to actually visualize until I, you know, if something important, I'll stop and look at it or look at it later at a certain point. But new beginners in the pipe world, please sub subscribe to Jeffrey Alton Carter, the Renaissance Piper. Good stuff. Um, Dallas from Full Dotto is good too, but no shade. Jeffrey Alton Carter breaks it down. He, I think he told me he was a biologist. So, I mean, he bringing out names and stuff like that. So, subscribe to the channel. Next, Tony 513, never had a chance to uh, give you a comment under your the loss that you, uh, uh, I want to give my condolences to the loss of your friend. 
I figured not even to comment, just go ahead and put it on camera and let you know. I'm thinking about you, man, praying for you, family, your friends, family. Uh, you never want to see anybody lose a friend or a family member. So my condolences, bruh, Tony, I'm thinking about you, man. Next, speaking of, I was watching John Panzer's video about uh, lighters to get, I think it's for beginners. Stuff that's not expensive. I agree with everything that you said. You had top three was, I think it was a Bic, a Zippo. I came up with the third one. The classy one that's like 70 some dollars. Listen, I don't know who hooked me up with this. The Clipper lighter. Yeah, clipper. Take butane fuel, I believe, because you can refill it down here at the bottom. Great lighter. I'm mad because I didn't get this before, but it's a clipper lighter. Got a got a pack of eight on Amazon for nine dollars. It was nine dollars a, a, a lighter. I mean, a dollar a lighter, dollar something. Great lighter. I haven't used. I got the Zippo. And I got a big, and I really haven't used it since I got these about a week, week, week or two ago. Great lighters, especially for pipes. So, sorry, John. Should have put this on there too. <laughs> Last but not least. My brother from another mother, Junebug Piper. Congratulations, bruh. Seen, uh, you made 201, 201 subs, man. You should have had that a long time ago. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, please subscribe to his channel. Got good stuff. He out there in Germany. Uh, was it this week? No, last weekend I talked to him. I think we talked for like an hour. And I talked to him this Sunday, I think it was for a little bit. Got stickers, and I see you got a shirt. So, this is what I'm going to say, bro. Tell your wife to get a 3X. Send it to me. I want to represent, man. Like the stickers, of course. I know you got something coming for me. I'm getting my package together for you. Now that you got stickers, I'm going to make stickers. Uh, when, they get, when I place the order to get them, by that time, I'll probably be ready to get your package out the door. But, yes, love the stickers. I want a shirt, 3XL, all right? You hear that, Simone? 3XL, man. All right? All right. But really, bro, congratulations on 200 subscribers. You'll hit 300 before I do. I don't even know what number I'm at now, because like I said, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not here for the numbers. I'm here for the entertainment. <laughs> But that's about it. It is like 2, probably 2.30. I need to get to be. Oh! Junebug, I did tell you. I told you the story. I told you the story two weeks ago. And you told me to go ahead and put it on there. And I'm going to put it on there. All right. Hopefully I can make this quick. If you guys know, I work nights. The third shift. From 10 p.m. To 6 30 a.m. on the eight hour day, sometime it's 10. So 8 30 a.m. Been doing this, been working nights. I think I've been at been at the job for 32 years, going on 33. Say so it was 32 years, 31 of them years I've been on nights. I tried days one time, couldn't do it. But I've been working nights. With working nights, you know, days, which I do during the day is what I do at nights. The reason why I'm up. I get up at 6 30, get home by 7. Or get home, get off eight thirty, get home by nine thirty. Stay up to about twelve. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Wife came out. Didn't know I was doing a video. Anyway, work nights. So, been doing. I've been trained to stay up driving home. But when I get home, I put it like this. Even add more to it. For six years. 
I was working two full-time jobs. Come home, it made it work. God blessed me with the with the with the endurance to do two full-time jobs for six years. But that being said, I know how to. I've trained myself to know how to take power naps. Okay. So fast forward to last Wednesday. Came home from work. Got to the driveway at 7:30 a.m. Parked the car. Took a deep breath and fell asleep. Not for 15 minutes, not for 30 minutes, not for 45 minutes, for a full damn hour and some change. I remember getting the parking lot at 7.30, no, less than an hour, and woke up at 8.20 in the car. And when I woke up, I seen where I was, and I grabbed the steering wheel thinking I fell, I fell asleep while driving. So I was sitting in this driveway for a full hour while people run, jog, drive down the street. Ain't nobody try to, maybe you can't see the in the car, but it was just funny to me how I was in the car, sleep for a whole hour in my driveway to taking my tired ass up in the house. So yes, that was funny to me. Evidently it was funny to Junebug, so he wanted me to tell you, it happens. <laughs> All right, talk long enough. This your boy Glass. You're now watching Smoke Sweat, or you have watched the Smoke Sweat channel. Thank you for watching, and as always, be good, be safe, get with it. And I'm talking low because I want my wife to hear what I did last week. <laughs> be safe, light them bowls. Peace.